everybody it's day six of the golden goblet we're going to track 16 just just the look of track 16 scares the crap out of me um let me uh reset my timer please i got 15 minutes on the clock and we're gonna send it there you go it's uh it's going it's going it's going all right first get a little feel for how the track looks we got cherry blossoms you know i i like it already we got a lot of tarmac concrete great driving structure probably probably we want to spend a little less time in the air on that one i can live with that i can live with this start so we're getting good corners you're gonna slow it down a little bit you definitely do not want to do a tony hawks 50 50 grind we are on track 16 right yeah okay <laughs> so i want to make sure i'm not a because, like, sometimes you see the tracks and you're like, this is a track I've already done. So we want to keep our wheels straighter on that jump, but this is definitely still functional. I mean, that was just a textbook jump. Oh, and then, actually, you know what? I've seen Wolves at My Door play this track. So I know what this track has on offer. Yeah, it's got a big uh, corner down here that you really heavily hit the brakes on. I don't know if you're supposed to get a high jump off of that. Seems like you probably could. A little super turbo. Let's just send it. Let's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make it over that big hump? Ah, but not too far. <laughs> okay. So this is a this is a track with elevation. It's a track with uh, speed management. Because you don't want to go too fast over the, over the humps or you'll get too much air. I understand. It's so like that right there is already a very good start. Then... Almost clipped the wheels on that one. You know, it just hit the brakes a little bit. I think we're still way too over. Maybe not. That seemed okay. At least we can still compete here. And then you hit the brakes hard on the Tony Hawk's downhill jam. Cheat the system a little bit, maybe. Okay. We're still in there. We're, we're keeping pace with our previous self. This is where you gotta maybe just lay off the throttle a bit as you come over the top. Definitely, there's a there's a right speed to land at. I just don't know what it is yet. Okay. So, we got an uphill right turn. Just remember that in your head. Uphill right turn. 55 seconds. This is good enough for gold. Top 49, British Columbia? There, there's so much improvement for us on this. That it'll make your head spin, dude. I can't believe that they would, they would have the audacity to placate me with a gold medal like that. Like in particular, this section right here. Right. The grass is so slippy. But you know, we we this section is automatic. Maybe not every time, but much of the time, keep your wheels straight. Much of the time, we're going to make up like a third of a second here. Occasionally, we're also going to throw a little corkscrew into it for no reason whatsoever. 55, 656 is where we're sitting right here. 65, 656. Now, a little bounce there is not great, but we're making great time. Perfect landing, roughly. A little bit of bounce off the top, but... Okay, that's, that's better. Just remember, it's slippy. So as soon as you come down here, you want to... It's not concrete. You want to take that a little early. This one, you could take the exit a little late. You want hard braking. It's probably a little bit harder than you had to do. Minimum air time. Now here... There you go. Just a little bit of extra gas. We're going to land right on the uphill. But if we front flip it, I think that's fine. I wouldn't recommend it. For, uh, for long term, but for, for temporary use, that's okay. <laughs> oh, top 37, British Columbia. And we cut another one and a half seconds off. We're at 54.25. All right. Algorithmically, where's our improvement to be had? The super turbo is, is really that, that big jump. If we can land the exact right speed. We actually, like, the back half of this course was really bad for us. The front half, I'm not going to sweat it too much if I'm behind by half a second. Because I think that, uh, to be quite frank, uh, I, I had a really good start. But I think that there's at least, like, two or three seconds I can easily glean off the back. 
of this course. And, you know, we we're doing some pretty similar stuff here. You got a nice little advantage there. And there you go. So, you, you, if possible, we want to maybe come across the left side of that enormous uh, uphill. Should allow us a smoother uh, entrance into that big turn there. That's fine. So, if we can come up, like, around here... And then start the turn a little earlier. You don't want to touch the wall or the grass. Now, unfortunately, we got a little bit of an unexpected physics penalty there, but that's okay. We're solving the, the course algorithmically. So this is just textbook. And you can, you can give it off of that. That's not a problem. It's maybe a little too much leftward momentum here, but we do want to come left off the top anyway. Good downforce, good downforce. Who's making this car, McLaren? Okay, good stuff. Hit the brakes because you're on a little downhill. Don't want to lose too much traction. Hit the brakes, but not as much because we got good exit potential here. All right, so let's see how this does. Bad, that's bad. Um. I think we may wish to go with our our worse our slower throttle option again. Now, if this is actually faster, that's incredible because we handled that in what I would describe as a an, a sub opportune way. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, slow but not as slow as the be the personal best. Just a little bit of air time. This has all the makings of a potential uh, victory here. Now, the front flip is really where things are going to get interesting. Oh my god, dude. We got to figure out the right speed on the back of the car there. That's alright. That, that lap up to that point was, was easily reproducible. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to sweat that at all. Although, to, to be fair, being up by a second was a little surprising. That's not how you do it. That's not okay. You're getting you're getting a little I wouldn't say tilted, but you're making mistakes you don't have to make. Just give yourself a chance. You don't have to race conservatively. In fact, quite the opposite. You have to race like pretty aggressively, but you don't have to take low percentage chances constantly. So that's way too high and <laughs> Low grav mode enabled. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Look at this. It's like looking at an amusement park. An amusement park of, of torque. You know, somehow, despite our bounces there, we're still okay. What a landing, dude. Although we did two-wheel it for a while. It's okay. That's okay. Oh, the freaking grass, dude. Somebody, somebody oiled the grass. I want those bleachers filled. Why are the bleachers empty? This is this is a potential landmark performance. All right, well, dude, talk about uh, being on a level playing field here. Brett, that's okay. That's okay. We got a 54.25, 54 and a quarter. Threw in a little bit too much there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, eight minutes and 43 seconds have passed on the timer. I don't know. That's that's just the video runtime. So we're probably at around you know just over eight minutes. Time spent. I'm not sweating the early sections. The early sections of this don't matter that much. Um, I know it sounds ridiculous. They matter as much as any other part of the course, but. What I mean to say is, if we're behind by a little on the early section, we don't really care. Because there's uh, money to be made on the back half. We got a lot of... If we can just land the super tur super turbo jump, we're going to be we're, we're gonna be eating good. Okay, we lost a staggering amount of speed there. So here's, what, here's how we make it up. We push it just a little bit harder. Now... <laughs> we were at escape velocity, unfortunately. All right, this is regression before progression. That's fine. That's completely okay. This is a, a smooth exit to this. And we're just way too fast, way too fast up the hill. That that hill is like the super turbo. It, it's going to determine the winners and losers today. But uh, 
without being too rude to my good friend Daniel. I did just find out that that one's not even close. I did just find out that Daniel, for the entirety of his Golden Goblet video where we played Karam, had no idea you could actually angle your shots, and so was just endlessly trying to do the same straight shots to try to sink uh, checkers and uh, wondering why he was getting destroyed. I feel like I have due uh, reason to make fun of my good friend Daniel, who, uh, through a lie of omission, had us all believing that he might be on Big Brother this summer. So I will not apologize for insulting him. What I will do is refocus myself and try to get... Because uh, we, we really have not had a great extra attempt at this lap in a while. We're losing it at the start here. We're losing it at the start. So what do we do? Focus on the Danish flag in the background. Okay, that was almost perfect. Almost paradise. And then, what, like, I've tricked myself into thinking that I'm overdoing that angle. I really don't think you can overdo that angle. That might be a little too... Oh, a little too perfect, is what I, was, I hope you were about to say. Okay, it turns out you can overdo it. You can overdo it if you don't put yourself in a position where you can actually, uh... Land on two wheels. Or four wheels, sorry. I forgot, this is not a bicycling game. Alright, this is, this is disconcerting. All I'm gonna say is we did, compared to yesterday, we got the gold earlier today. I'm still a little nervous. We touched the wall there and lost a lot of speed. Uh, not nervous, but I would be disappointed if in our final, you know, three and a half minutes or so, we were not able to put down a better time. Like, that, that would be... I would leave this... We didn't give ourselves enough on that one. I would leave this feeling slightly choked. So just dial in. Remember last time. You set a new lap record. On literally your final lap. Oh my god. That might be okay. Oh, oh! Okay, I have not seen this section of the course since I was a boy. Slow, but not too slow. Now over here, just smooth. Good exit. Now, just lay off. Let, let's see how the front flip compares. It's close. <laughs> then I got scared. I was like, what? No. No! Okay, but we're close. We're close. I mean, that front flip is hard to recreate, dude. That front flip was like, it was an act of God. 54.25 still. I just wish that on our front flip lap, we held it together. So that we, we could have been a little smoother through the back section of the course. But that's okay, it happens. It happens, quite frankly. Ladies and gentlemen, we're through. Didn't get a lot of air time. Little suboptimal there. Slash a lot suboptimal. We gotta hit the gas a little harder. And then lay off. No front flips though, no front flips. That's like front flip city, dude. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we just hit the gas almost the whole way up and then break hard at the top. Or at the at the landing, I should say. Oh, come on, you can clear it. You can clear it. Don't. 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 What? That was incredible. Not too much hang time. That was smooth. Smooth. Now, this might be one of your last laps. Be smart. Lay off. You just want to get yeah, yeah, to the flatlands. Little slow. No! I was so over-aggressive. So overly aggressive on the turn. 
I bet this is our final lap right here. We had it. If you hear the beeping, just tune it out. I can't stop. You gonna bounce me? <laughs> okay, just tune it out. Just tune it out. Uh, there's no pausing. There's no pausing. This is, this is for all the marbles. Google, alarm off. Google. Google, alarm off. Okay. It's still beeping. It's just quiet now. Okay, a little slow, a little slow. It's now just louder. But we did it. We did it. We set a better time. Oh, at the last lap again. We cut an extra second off <laughs> to move into the top 30. <laughs> For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. That was hectic. See, I need a little pressure. Oh, exciting. I like this course a lot, too. We, there's still a lot of room for improvement, but I'm just happy we were able to put down another decent one. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do click the like button and subscribe if you're enjoying the Trackmania content. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!